Last time on The Greatest Space Ranger, the new contenders, Vacuous Vanquishers, left the competition in the dust as they arrived at the Spire of Obstacles. Only one team reached the Spire before them. You know them, you love them, the Blazing Starshiners. Can Vexius Vanquishers unseat our three going on four-time reigning champions, or will they themselves be vanquished? Why? The, the first one. <laughs> I'm trying so to speak. This episode brought to you by Space Puffs. Space Puffs, the non-GMO option for snacks on the go. All right, there we go. Um, <laughs> now in Dexter. <laughs> now in Dexter. Oh, yes! All right. God, even the future oh, people man. still care about GMOs for no reason. Yeah, exactly. Oh my yeah. god, this is incredible. <laughs> yeah. Gluten free, organic, and uh, devoid of any sort of natural things either. Sp Space Puffs are free range, grass fed, harvested fresh. It shows a farm of like little puff balls rolling around <laughs> in a field. <laughs> They're actually like an alien species that happen to taste like popcorn. Oh, God. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have just reached the base of the tower. The door is open for you. Inside, the interior is dark, lit by neon lights. Do you step inside? Well, yeah, we okay. better we better do so at a sprint at this point. We're blasting our way in. Indeed. Oh dude, I love this scene in Tron. <laughs> <laughs> you enter the challenge tower and immediately find yourself in a long straight hallway. It lights up as you enter, and then lasers extend out of uh, holes in the walls and ceiling and begin to crisscross and move all around in, in random, random patterns from one end of the hallway to the other in a way that would be truly impractical for any kind of actual security system, but makes for excellent TV. <laughs> Is anybody going to need help with dexterity? Indeed, it will be acrobatics to navigate this hallway. Or, conversely, it. it's a 30-foot hallway, so you can also cheat it. Okay, I know that Kronk can Biotic Charge. Um, I can uh, Pulse Transit with uh, one other, I'm sure Air, uh, Eon can as well. Arturo deftly maneuvers his way down the hall, weaving between the lasers. Can we, like, crawl on the ceiling to cheat a little bit? I don't know if that'll uh, keep you safe from it. I was about to say, the lasers probably touch the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Be yeah, if anything, crawling is going to make you slow and an easier target. You kind of have to go quickly. I don't think I can tech support myself, can I? No, you cannot. But I can pulse transit across with you if you don't want to make the deck save. Or the, uh, the acrobatics check. Because I don't have very good acrobatics myself. I've got a plus four, but I don't. Yeah, I've only got I a plus don't... two. I can, but I can bring you across if you'd like. Oh, uh, okay. If if nobody else thinks they need it, then I'll, I'll go with you. Um, alternately, I have a thirteen I could give to somebody. Does anyone else need to get pulse transited across? I got a I plus think I four. Be to okay. My... Yeah, I've got a plus four to my saving throw, but due to the biotic enhancement earlier one of the things i took was advantage on dexterity ah nice okay. um yeah so, aaron aaron so. is going to pulse transit over with uh with ray all right let's see if my rolls will be nice today actually i'm a biotic yeah. I'm biotic uh i should convert use my conversion to break it down uh so that i'm not wasting any points on it Shepard is also able to deftly maneuver between and through the lasers, reaching the end of the hall. It goes flashy, it seems. 
And Kronk probably biotic charge. Use one of his free biotic charges. You want me to uh, pilot Kronk for this? I will give you control of Kronk. Sounds good. Yes. Ian will just be facing right, you across. You, you have it? Him? Okay. Make sure to track resources because yep. it will matter. That's why, I, yeah, that's why I wanted control so I could tick down one of his biotic charges. Yeah, got it. Man. Nat 20 through the lasers. What a day. <laughs> we all have inspiration, right? Nobody's used theirs yet? Some have been, some have been used, for ah, sure. Okay. Ronnie uh, somersaults and backflips through the lasers and probably lands on two feet at the other side with his arms out in like a T-pose or something. And secure some sponsors in the in the process, I'm sure. Let's not forget throwing in a ole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you said you didn't want to do this. I didn't. Sure. I'm, I, I hate every bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't like it here. Nope. Sure you do. <laughs> Just keep telling yourself that. I will. The truth. All right, so we've got three people with acrobatics, and then we have uh, Charge, a Pulse Transit, and Eon did something as well. Well, phase step. Yeah, so that's everybody. All right, at the other end, you see a small uh, metal disc, just big enough for your party, in a cylindrical metal shaft going up the tower. Does that appear standard issue given my super fan status? Or yeah. is this something new? It's a, okay. it's a, it looks like a lift. Yeah. In we go, folks! Yep. Feet are not stopping. Alright, as soon as you're all on it, it goes up to the second floor. Oh my god. And it opens into a giant circular room that has uh, a cannon in the center. That X barely moved. Uh, uh, the... <laughs> The automated cannon uh, does not react to your presence since you're still on the lift, but especially those who've watched the show will know that as soon as you enter this big 100-foot wide, so 50-foot radius, 100-foot diameter circular room, the artillery in the center is going to react and probably shoot at somebody. Uh, the lift to go up is just on the opposite side of the room. Eon, bubble the, t uh, bubble the turret? I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you pop a biotic shield on the turret. And you guys just run for it. Book it. Yeah, you're able to run through the room. As you're running, the turret is shooting the inside of the shield. But you will reach the lift before the biotic shield goes down. Nice. Everybody in! The lift takes you up to the third floor. <laughs> Good God, this thing is barely moving. <laughs> I can see why they didn't want us to scale the outside. <laughs> wow. All right, third floor. Opens into a hallway of swinging blades. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, there are swinging blades hanging from pendulums from the ceiling going back and forth. Okay. Uh... Th this actually can be circumvented with a climb speed. Uh, do you all we have, all a have climb, climb speed? speed? Yeah, we you all guys have a high climb speed. Just go on the ceiling, yeah. Okay. Well, we run across the ceiling like a bunch of ants. Then. Mm -hmm. There you go. Up and over. Woo! Next floor <laughs> opens into what should be a hallway, except there is no floor, and instead it is a trough of water, and there are mechanical crocodiles in it. Climb speed? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> you go across the ceiling again. Yep. <laughs> hey, it cost me seven or eight. See, what's cool is like these, these are like these. Are like I'll climb the wall. These are like little climbing blades that, that like extend from us, and we can just retract them as well. So it's like we got claws. It cost me right. seven of my quick points. So the yes. fact that it's helpful and, is and very it's good. Coming into yeah, like it, we might not be spending resources now, but we spent resources in advance. <laughs> the next chamber that you enter <laughs> is a. Long hallway filled with uh, humanoid robots. They have little swords and shields, and they look kind of uh, kind of dinky. 
Uh, like they're probably just gonna make attack rolls at people as they try to get down the hallway. Can they reach the ceiling? They can. Okay. Yep, ceiling's not that high up. They can stab people on the ceiling. So basically, they're all just standing around to make attacks of opportunity as the party makes their way through. It's up to you. You can either just like, you can basically just eat a bunch of attacks of op, or you can try to find a solution not to. There are ten. Uh, automated enemies in this hallway. They are spaced such that there is no way to escape their reach. The we hallway do. is not very wide, not very tall, so you will be passing through them. Because these How are long attacks. The oh, sorry. Once again, the hallway is 30 feet long. 30 feet, okay. Because these Could are attacks, not... would this be hitting our um, our shield or barrier, or would this go to our health HP since it's not an initiative roll? There's no initiative, so okay. it'll be health. Yeah. Okay. And we couldn't just disengage down the hallway. You can. It'll cost you time. We're all over the hallway right now. Still same uh, turn. Uh, I couldn't over down the hallway again, but I am running through my resources. So I'm about yeah, halfway. Yeah, let's, let's try to save some resources. I think we could probably spare a few hits, but if it's only thirty feet long, then it'll like a disengage move would take the same amount of time as a as just a move without. But Without in universe, in the canonical roleplay world that this is, being careful and making sure not to provoke from these guys will take longer than sprinting full speed down the hallway without trying to avoid them. Got it. Arturo okay. will just turn invisible and walk through the hallway. Wait, can't I um, uh, charge and hit all of them at the same time and see how much damage he does? You could potentially destroy them. Wait, does somebody have a what slashing can... charge? Uh, um, no, not by auto charge. Neither, no. yeah, not, not, yeah, neither by I, Vanguard has that. My auto charge will only take oh. one. Remember, God, if we I destroy them, we launcher? make it easier for the other teams to catch up. What, Rocky? Oh, wait. Rocky yeah, is a rocket I'm launcher. A rocket launcher. And, these are, and we're not using the real rockets, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Do your old thing. Light it up. How many rockets do you normally have? Nine. Uh, nine? Okay. So, they have given you nine in VR. Bastards. Alright. So, yeah, if it's 30 feet, light it up. Let's see what damage we can do. Alright. Ooh, that's good. 20 foot radius. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was trying to send it as, you know... I would, of course, know that, given how many times she took apart and put together and read through the specs on this thing. So she'd be lobbing it down to the end of the hall, so that way we're not in the blowback. Yep. Well, with it only being... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, 24 radius, so it'll hit everybody. You can I put it a little bit down the hall? Mm-hmm. Uh... Yeah, you damage all of them, some more than others, but none of them die. How bad are they looking? Uh, the ones who failed their saves look at about half health. The ones who succeeded are in much better shape. This is not going to be useful against the other team because it's got... Aaron, do I just send another present? We don't have time because it's like an action to reload yeah. and everything. It would have been quicker. Exactly. To so at this, at this okay, point, so we're now looking at what other people in the party can do in the same I, turn. I have an idea. If we're looking to, for to get them to like burn their like, I'm assuming mechanically it'd be like reactions. I can do this. I'm going to use my action to to take the dodge action with my shield. Bonus action, burning a biotic point to dash forward, and I'm going to use my movement and dash to push right through them while and taking the dodge action with my shield. And everybody will be moving dash right behind you? Yep. Right. I'll all right. take off. Yep. Yep. We could try that. Which would give me, with my current AC, if I don't burn anything, a disadvantage they'd have to hit, let's see, 13 plus 4, 17, plus the shield, 20. So I have a 20 AC at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'll do. Everything, everything misses. Nice. All right. All right, the party gets through. As you guys enter the other side, Arturo decloaks. What's up? Yeah.
David, are you okay? Hey, I'm feeling great. This feel rock. Yeah, just oh, back oh. on his back. All right, just remember, I'm here to heal. Not even touched, hon. Thanks, though. Let's keep going. All right. You reach a 100-foot diameter circular room where the floor is, again, water, and it is filled with robotic sharks that are shooting laser beams out of their heads. <laughs> sharks with freaking laser beams. What the hell? I cannot believe they brought this. Oh, God. Unfortunately, to the, because of their lasers, going along the ceiling will work, but they may attack some random people with lasers as you go. Okay, I mean, it's better than trying to run through the water. Yeah. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys All right. just go along the ceiling? I think we do that. Yeah. Doing it. Wait, I'm doing it. Hmm? How, what did you say the diameter of the room was? Uh, diameter is 100 feet. Ah, uh, okay. No, icy fields wouldn't work then. Because I could have just froze the top of the water, but it's too big. Alright, yeah. We, we, we make a run for it. Alright, each shark tries um, to laser a person. I will say that I will be taking... I will hold up the shield again for a dodge sort of thing. So, as we're running. Yeah, so just like with the whole disengage thing, like, dodging is slowing your party down. Oh, never mind. Don't slow the party down. Nope, don't slow the yeah, party down. Anything that takes your action. Any, any action is slowing the party down compared to just running. Any yeah. action that is okay. not a, do a dash. <laughs> exactly. If you're not dashing, the party's moving slower. Okay. Never mind. All right. Here is a... So, like, the last hallway, you went slower than you could have because of... Dying. Or, no, I used my bonus action to dash. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so yeah. you could do that. You can bonus action dash if you want, but, like, not everybody can. Yeah, but I... Yeah, so. but, yeah. It was just to make sure that, you know... Well, I'm going to go ahead and roll... Uh, I'm yeah. going to roll uh, some attack rolls here. Let's see it. And it's going to be from left to right player portrait order. Wait, why is... God damn. Hold on. There we go. Well, that definitely hit. Yeah, we've got a 27 on Arturo, a 25 on David, then some definite misses. A 20 on Eon is like a maybe? 18 on Ray, maybe? No, that's a hit. 18 definitely hits, right? How, how close is it for any of you guys? My AC is 14. So, okay. My AC. My AC is twenty five. If I use barrier, so I've got a I've got a contingency um, I can throw you I'll throw at you, David. Y yeah, you know what? Go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and burn a biotic point to throw up barrier to make it a definite miss. I'll reduce. It Unless she can roll a. Yeah. Yep. That's enough for me to burn up a biotic barrier and ignore the hit. All right. But <laughs> right now, as it stands, it looks like we have Arturo, Ray, and Eon taking damage. Then. I guess I shouldn't have decloaked. Yes, sir. All right. Arturo. Ray. Eon. This is fire damage. Oh, A devastating yeah. blow. I take half damage against that because I, you did the fire immunity thing while we were fighting the dragons. Oh, okay. Cool. And fire resistance. Oh, nice. Or fire resistance. <clears throat> and again, that's just. Hit points, right? Not it's hit points, yeah. yeah. Well, that ate straight through Arturo's plating. Oh yeah, plating. Oh, sixteen to plating, yeah. Oof. And then uh, so let's see, at least. Well, you reach the next room. This one is a hundred foot long chamber. That is uh, completely empty, save for some uh, tree-like designs on the walls. And at the very end of the room is is a uh, tall robot that's facing away and counting down from yeah. five. Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> yep. I stopped moving when I turned around. you guys, it was Squid Game. I didn't hide. All right. Uh, 
as it reaches the end of its countdown, it suddenly turns. We're I need a deck, what, deck save from everybody to stop. Pretty easy DC, because it was counting down. Oh my god! <laughs> oh Jesus! I'm gonna contingency mine. The DC is Why are we rolling goddamn nine? The Hang on, I'm adding four to mine. Sorry, Arturo. Oh my God, Ooh. David! I thought this was so you good at. I'm Wait, hang on. Does, do any of you have no. advantage on? No, it's sort of checks, not saves. Right? It's checks. Yeah. I am the only one who is allowed to fail back. Come on, guys. Oh wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. I have. I don't want to waste my adaptive. I don't. Un... Yeah, don't waste it here. You don't roll again. You said checks, not saves, right? No, they're saves. Oh. So you have advantage on some of them have advantage on checks. But uh, not on I, need a, I need oh, I a save from Kronk, by the way. Oh, sorry. You're good. Oh, the DC is 10. That is funny. Oh, three, that was crap. great. The three nines. That, that is <laughs> unreal. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, well, all that happens is that it, it shoots you with a gun that comes out of its chest, and then you get to the lift. So I just I'm in, I'm making some attacks. Uh, it looks like Arturo. Uh, yeah, Vexia made it out of there. So yeah. Arturo, Ray, and David are the three being attacked. Arturo, David, Ray. Oh, why are boy. they so determined to hit the shit out of me? Oh wait, oh so that's the hit. That's a hit me thing. Uh, yeah, hit you. Yeah, eighteen misses. Okay, yeah, it's just shooting you guys. All right, that hits me. This is just. Oh, I should have used adaptation to fucking reroll that. Damn! All right, oh, wasting well. it early. Uh, do you want to? I haven't rolled damage yet, so you don't know like if what it's gonna do. I mean, it's four uh, saves and sit. Yeah, and if you want to roll your reroll your deck save, you can, because uh, I haven't shown you what's going to happen. Okay, so I'll just admit you. So it misses David. So I think only Ray takes damage. Yeah. Fourteen piercing. I don't think you have a chance of getting infected while we're in a virtual environment. That's probably a good thing. Actually, now nah, she can get a bug. <laughs> Alright, you guys reach the lift. I want to see health. Raise down to 20. I'm pulling people out. So oh, my help is fine. My help is fine. Yeah, I just, I want to see it. it. We, we have a lot of tower left to go, so I like, oh, I like okay. being able to see health bars. Yeah. Like, now you guys can see where everybody is in case someone starts getting low. Like, Ray is actually kind of hurt. All right. You arrive at the next floor. The next floor is is a let's see here a long hallway with guns mounted to the ceiling that are waiting for you to leave the lift this like the other hallways is only 30 feet long but the guns appear trained to fire on anyone who enters the hallway there are six guns on the ceiling mm -hmm. another ac test more or less Okay. Well, let's uh, let's not slow down. Um, yeah. So if anyone do if anyone doesn't take the dash dash action, you will lose time. Uh, I you know what I'll do it. Uh, like I hardly ever use any of my biotic points for spells, really. So I'll just biotic point, bonus action, dash, take the dodge action as my action, and double move through the room. Okay. There are. Six of these things, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Kronk and Aaron are just sprinting through. Yep. DC uh, AC twenty. I mean, 
when this David manage. does this bonus action dash so he can dodge move, I'm assuming the whole party is right behind him, basically. So everyone dashes uh, behind David as David takes the fire. There's a disadvantage. We've got uh, 25, a 26, and a 22 here. I'm not burning another body point. I'll take all three of those hits. All right. Just going to be oh. piercing. Mm-hmm. Twelve, nine, and six piercing. So fifteen plus twelve, twenty-seven. Got it. Yep. And you guys reach the end. Fifty, and then minus seven. All right, forty-three HP remaining. Got it. All right. How long is the lift between floors? You have one action on the lift between floors. So Ray could heal. Yeah. Yes, you have an yeah, action gonna... on the lift, yeah. Yeah, I would look over at Ray and just like, Hey, Ray, I think I could use what you asked me about before now. Can I bust <laughs> I out a hurt. Metagel? Can I bust out a Metagel for myself? Certainly. Okay. I'll throw a uh, throw a heal at you. Actually, I'll throw my Metagel at you because I've got the big Metagels right now. So yeah. you're going to heal for that much. 17. And then I'll just do a first right. aid on myself because I'm not doing too pretty right now either for 15 to myself oh oh i just i just rolled terribly with your meta gel but okay all right the lift arrives in the next room which is a 40-foot-wide room with no hazards, but in the center are several large metal blocks in slots in the floor that appears to be a complex sliding block puzzle. This will require athletics from those who are going to push the blocks and intelligence from someone to solve the puzzle. Uh, I think Ray is going to be our intelligence base person. Intelli God it, damn it. It is a base intelligence check, yes. <laughs> But for assistance, with it, if this yeah, is one we anyone can before. help. Yeah, I have a, I have a thirteen. I could give you if you think that would be enough, Ray. It's not an intelligence save. It's just a straight intelligence check. Straight up check, yeah. Uh, if you give me that thirteen, I can make it an eighteen. Knowing my luck, I will probably roll somewhere in the area of four to nine. Okay, uh, I will give you that thirteen then. All right. In the interest of speed, uh, you having spoken with. Shepard the night before expected a sliding block puzzle and you planned for it and your contingency pays off because uh, Ray puts the plan that you devised into action and uh, knows the solution pretty much right away however it is up to some athletics checks to see if you can get those blocks moved quickly I need at least three athletics checks for speed, you want them to be by different people, like working at the same time, in order to go the absolute quickest. So you basically pick three people to do it. Uh, if anybody fails, you're going to lose time. The boulder nominates himself! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Exosuit. Alright. Anybody got higher than a... That is the boulder, by the way, not Eric. Yeah, of course. Oh, athletics. Oh, boy. Is it a situation where they're large enough that two people could work together, or is it it's one a person? It's really kind of a... Well, two people could work together on one, although Arturo already had advantage, and Kronk made it. So there's one block remaining, which you could have two people on working together. All right, I rolled a 13. I'll give you a contingency for an extra D4. On oh, I was going to say Eon can help out then, if that's... Make it 15. All right. Well, fortunately for you guys, the DC was 12. Yeah, cool. Uh, so you are able to... Uh, when you when you enter the room, you pretty much instantly know the solution and split your team up, and everyone moves a block where it needs to be, and the, and the lift activates, and all of this happens really fast. 
is why you watch the episodes closely as she books it into the lift. Alrighty. The lift reaches a hallway, and the hallway is blocked by a steel door. The steel door has engraved into it a trivia question relating to Season 3 of The Greatest Space Rangers. If you're a fan <laughs> of the show, you can make a uh, history check with advantage. Tech support onto uh, tech support onto whoever has the higher history. What's Kronk at? Anyone can make the history check, but only fans of the show get advantage. Yes, Kronk, Kronk's history, it's one. Wait. How about that? Uh, you shout <laughs> the answer out immediately. But the answer was bunny was slippers. Gosh. Bunny slippers. <laughs> uh, the door opens, and behind it is another door with another trivia question. So this will be another history check with history check with advantage from uh, someone who's familiar with the show. There you go. But worth noting, uh, someone like like Ray, for instance, could make it without advantage, having like a high bonus. But yeah, uh, that will answer the question. Uh, last door, so one more check to see if you guys lose any time. Uh, use the tech support I gave you. Uh, what is that? A D... D8. D eight at this point, yeah. How about them apples? <laughs> yep. That that was actually the quote. That was the answer. How about Indeed, that? Indeed, that was the answer. <laughs> how about that? It was. They were asking for what was the catchphrase of one of the contestants, and it was "How about them apples?" He said it all the time. <laughs> all right, you get in the lift and go up, and then oh, you drive, find I love this. you find yourself in a circular room that has been uh, designed in a way to look like the inside of an engine room. There are like fake alarms going off. And there's a starship engine in the middle that uh, that is like spewing steam, and it's clearly a replica. But you you hear like something over the intercom go, "Space Rangers, we took a big hit. Get the engine working." <laughs> you're like you're like Sean. I'm gonna make you roll. You're not gonna avoid <laughs> all the rolls. <laughs> all right. Um, is anyone else in proficient with technology? Surely someone in the party is. Surely, uh, I know the technology. What's that? Technology. Aaron is not. Kronk is not. Arturo is, right? Yeah, is not. And what? Proficient with yeah, technology? I'm at, yeah, I'm good at, I'm good okay, at technology. Okay. Arturo can definitely help you with that. All right, so it's going to be that plus a D4. Well, you nailed it anyway. Yeah. All right, uh, you go up to the replica. You instantly recognize that it's pretty crude, um, but... Like clearly, a pipe is in the wrong place, and you literally just like move the pipe into the right place, and it and immediately it's like, "Good job, Space Rangers!" And the and the lift oh. activates. Also, just so everyone knows, I have a plus thirteen to that. That means I rolled a seven, and I guessed five to nine was going to be my next roll. <laughs> so, I'm pretty on point. But you did fire, Ray. All right, the lift opens up into what looks like. The uh, it, it looks like the cockpit of a big ship, like with lots of seats and lots of consoles all around. And there's like fake sparks, and the and the alarms are blaring. And it's like to to your station, Space Rangers, we're under attack. And all the consoles light up. There's somewhere for everybody to sit. <laughs> sit at shields. Hey, David. I've decided that Vexia is going to uh, start concentrating on biotic presence and start throwing out uh, guidances to like one person per uh, um, like per check here at least. All right. Well, what's going to happen here is uh, you guys end up being uh, put through a simulation battle from this fake cockpit. It becomes clear that this is going to take a little bit of time, no matter what you do. The good news is that obviously the people ahead of you had to do this too, and so we it's have not experience like with this, or one of us does. Precisely. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to need is I need one check from everyone. However, this is very open ended. It is literally anything you're proficient in 
that you can justify to me would be directly relevant to this test. Uh, if you have okay. nothing, then you have nothing, and it's a zero. Okay, Vexia is going to um, uh, take charge and be the uh, the captain here, and I'm going to um, throw uh, throw out uh, biotic presence to uh, to David. Since this does take time, like like I don't want to I don't want to cheese it and say that I have time to throw it out to everybody because I can only have one out at a time. With this, no, it's definitely much, so. one person. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm giving this guidance to uh, to David for his thing. Um, yeah. So basically, you tell me what you want to roll and and why it's appropriate. Some things don't need explanation. Obviously, things like things like technology or like space vehicles, obviously yeah, space irrelevant. Vehicle. I think yeah. you, can just, you can just do it. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to roll a proficient charisma check for uh, leadership. <laughs> sure, go for it. Bah, fuck. Nice. There it is. All right. <laughs> uh, next, David. Give me your space vehicles, because that's clearly what you're going to do. Aaron's, like, trying to take this as realistically and, and seriously as possible, but it's, like, okay. designed for an arcade or something. And oh, yeah. Like, she's like, this is not how a space battle actually goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Pilot seat? Oh, uh, you get a oh, D4 bad, on that, dude. too. You find, oh, bro. You find the oh. that piloting the fake console kind of reminds you a little bit of Galaga, but you're very good at it. <laughs> All right, does anyone else have anything? Because this is a sum total of your rolls. Everybody needs to take yeah. something here. Kronk is going to take something. weapons. Try to find something that you can roll. Kronk, Kronk is going to take weapons and try to roll a, a heavy weapons. That is permissible. Yep. Heavy weapons definitely works. 14. Uh, yeah. I know that Shepard has heavy Lucille. weapons too. Yeah. Yep. She's going to be taking a seat across from Kronk and, and rolling heavy weapons. There you go. Oh, All right. God. We've got uh, Ray, Arturo, and Eon left. Uh, Eon, go ahead and take a tech support. Uh, okay. Ray, I need and, some uh, engineering. Uh, I don't I, know what's up. Just, just to mix it up a little bit, actually, it's the same bonus either way. But um, Ray is going to realize that this is actually just a recreation of a battle that actually happened that she knows about. And oh. she's going to use her history to like communicate to the group <laughs> what's about to happen, basically. All right. It's the same bonus either way. I figured I'd nice. well mix it's it up. fun. I like that. <laughs> well, there you go. I guess Arturo will go over to the tactics station and roll perception. I'll allow perception. Yeah. All right. Hey. Also, does anyone else have history in the entire party? I do. Excellent. All right. All right. Uh, Eon, do you, uh, you want to roll like perception or history? Sure. Yeah, I'll do a um, I'll do a history. All right. You were also new about this battle. You can also throw that tech support in there if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do I do that again? Uh, Just throw a D8. Roll a D8, yeah. All right. The battle comes to an, a roaring end. And suddenly, the main screen has a number that's tallying up very fast. And it's making like a dinging noise as it tallies up. <laughs> your score was 134. Therefore, your wait time in the cockpit will be. And it calculates and then says. Two minutes. And a lift opens oh. to take you up where you'll be waiting for two minutes based on your score. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Damn it. All right. You enter the lift, and it takes you up into uh, kind of a lounge. It's like a really high-tech lounge, sort of like a halftime area to you know allow other uh, them to focus on other teams for a little bit and build some tension. When you arrive, uh, the Starshiners are are also there, presumably on whatever timer they got from the test you just took. And as, as you arrive, your score is displayed in the monitor, and one of the Starshiners kind of grunts at it. And it's like, shit. It'd be their score. She's not freaking out. She's not freaking out. She's not freaking What's out. What's their display? 
<laughs> they got a they got a, they got a ninety eight. So it Ooh. looks like that. It looks like as a result, you'll be leaving the lounge at the exact same moment. There are two lifts, one for uh -huh. you and one for them. Uh, Ray is gonna, Ray's gonna look at Lucille and then look at whichever one she said her favorite character is, and she's gonna pull a pen out and she's gonna <laughs> run up and be like, "Can you sign this?" And then she's gonna realize it's a VI or a virtual reality and be like, "Wait, never mind," and run back. Damn. Okay, so I know you said their score was a ninety-eight. Uh, this is just a shot in the dark, but uh. Is there like a listing under the ninety eight? Like, is there like a piloting listing and stuff like that? Like, because I I kind of want to see if they're if they if they had a pilot. And you want to directly compare pilot score? <laughs> there's, yeah, yeah. There's no breakdown. There's no breakdown. Yeah. No. Sorry, Shepard. We can't actually get signatures here. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's all right. We, we're professional. This is this is professional, and we're so you're, you're we're professional. Camping. Your your foot's um, tapping really bad. Please, <laughs> we are professionals in this setting. Um, yep. Uh huh. Oh, wait, hold on. The, you sound like you're the, doing a, a drum solo with your foot. There it is. God damn it! Roll twenty. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you guys are awkwardly sitting around a table in this lounge, like waiting for your timer to go up. It is you're in here for two minutes, which doesn't sound like long, but after you guys have been running like full sprint, full adrenaline since the show started, two minutes feels like a million years. <laughs> you're like sitting there, adrenaline pumping, like tapping your foot, fucking waiting. Uh, Lucille is stretching. She is stretching. She is checking her weapons carefully, not giving away too much, but just movement. She is not going to just sit and wait, because otherwise she will vibrate out of the area. <laughs> I don't suppose we can communicate with people outside of the simulation? No, not right now. Okay. Because I was going to use the medical test thing that What's Her Face gave us and start scanning all of them. <laughs> no, it won't work. I don't know. If you had questions, there's a, there's a chance Lucille would probably have at least a rough idea on their skill set. And would have gone over some of their strengths and weaknesses last night while doing the research and running everybody through as long as they were willing to listen before eyes glazed over and heads rolled back. Um, uh, this is a short rest, correct? Just clarifying. Uh, no, it's only two minutes. Ah, okay. Not time for a short rest at all. Although it feels like a long time, it actually isn't. A short reprieve, gotcha. Yeah, just a, just a pause in the action for you to catch your breath. One of the Starshiners... Uh, this guy down at the end uh, leans back in his chair and looks over at you guys and says uh, it's cool that we've actually got competition this year looking at who signed up I thought this one was going to be boring yeah uh huh apparently the directors did too that's why they asked us to come <laughs> Oh wow! And who are you? Some big hot shots. Could you could. Uh, Aaron gives us a, gen a gentle shake of her head to to the uh, to the party. <laughs> Nobody was going to mention that. <laughs> Let's just say that things are always interesting when we're involved. Well, we're the future champions of this game show, so that's pretty big hot shot stuff. <laughs> Rick. Wow. Oh, Get a little of this one over here. <laughs> and uh, this guy right here brings out his, his mechanical arm and an attachment extends from it to like pour some coffee in a cup for him. And he gets out like some soy milk. And, it, and he's what stirring it with like a tiny spoon and is like, you think you're going to beat us? <laughs> Considering how much pretentious I'm dick sorry. you look like, I'm pretty sure we know we're gonna defeat you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was gonna say something to that, but the fact that this man literally has a coffee machine built in his hand is insane. 
Aaron no is... one else knows how to make it properly. <laughs> oh, honey. Aaron's not speaking, but she's like just kind of like standing and every now and then just like changing her pose for the cameras and stuff. <laughs> Posing from the camera. Being sexy makes her feel powerful. You do that 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 pose thing where you flip your, your head tentacles back and <laughs> The head tentacles are cartilage, they don't move. That's what the sorry want you to think. <laughs> Then when you're not looking, they move it. They put a Snickers bar back there. <laughs> they just don't tell us about it. They don't. They don't right. want the the freaky got, humans getting ideas. Got of what a, they they've got a mouth things. back there. They got like a Cthulhu mouth back there. Yeah. That's where I keep my red vines. <laughs> Great. That I There's from actually a too. whole video on YouTube that talks about how the Sari are actually galaxy-ending parasites, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they talk about shit like that throughout the video. So. They're basically like the the Futurama sex robot joke, where they talk about how all of humanity got with robots, so everyone died out. That's basically what Asari is supposed to be. They're just all consuming. They eventually everyone wants to date an Asari, so nobody has any actual kids except for more Asari, and then the Asari take over the galaxy. <laughs> like a really sex based version of the Tyranids from Warhammer 40k. I don't see anything all right, wrong then. with this so far. How could anything be more sexy than the Tyranids, though, Sean? Th that's my <laughs> <opinion>. <laughs> All right, so this this girl right here kind of comes over to, to Shepard and is like, nice outfit. That's, yours is pretty nice, too. Where'd you find it? In the bargain bin, <laughs> and they all like in unison are like, <laughs> "Are we allowed wow. to fight in here?" <laughs> that, that's what you. Oh, I hope you feel bad that that's how you got to attack. Shit, this will be easy if that's your level of intelligence. I was actually kind of hoping to hear something more, but if that was literally the best they got, then. I'm about to go take a nap. This guy right here is like, uh, bra, you're gonna take a nap when my fist puts you to sleep. Stop, stop trying, Einstein. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah, you're not gonna do more damage anybody. than anything else you can throw at. Oh, God. The boulder well, feels conflicted fight. about beating up the mentally disabled. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm missing nice. a beat raised like raised like actually being knocked unconscious is nothing like sleeping. Uh, this guy's like, I bet they're not even vegan. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, they're vegan! Guys, this should I'm be really easy. Sick. So god. what I'm hearing is, oh my god, this reminds me of that movie Scott Pilgrim. All we gotta do is just slip half and half into his coffee and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the middle guy, the leader guy, is like, he puts his hand up and all of them go quiet. Stop. You're making fools of yourself. And he gets up. We only have about a minute left. Glutes. They all get up and start doing squats together. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm looking oh. forward to killing all of them now. I'm gonna just slow. I think at this point, David just slowly turns his deadpan expression to Lucille and just goes, So these are your people, huh? These are. So these are for, we... for what it's worth, this is not what they're like on camera. So this is this is new for uh, this is a new this... discovery. For you. Are we not in camera here? How's no, this VH1 no. behind the scenes, oh. Lucille? How's this VH1 oh. behind the scenes? How's this? How's this feel, huh? So He's Aaron's just over there posing for no reason. Yep. So since they're actively <laughs> like engaging their enhancements really and stuff, good. it's a very subtle and pose. Right. It's like more just like standing, but every now and then shifting. What, what does Ray want to do? Sorry, I almost knocked something off my desk. Oh. Um, since they're actively like doing like action and stuff, and they all have cyber cybernetics, can Ray take this minute to like try to examine and figure out what their cybernetics are? Oh yeah, absolutely. 
give us a little bit of a heads up for the actual combat? Give, give me a tech check and toss a D4 on it, because we established somebody in the party has tech. Uh, okay. Um, 21. Lasers. Uh, you're, you're looking at him and it's like, all right, that guy's arm has a laser cannon. That guy's leg has a laser cannon. The eyes are lasers. That guy's eyes are lasers. That guy's got lasers in his, all his fingers. It's all laser guns. The, there's definitely a seam here. Probably a lot oh, of fire damage. Ray will communicate that to Aaron then. Since she's team leader and she gets to make the calls. Okay. The timer like how... on the wall starts counting down from 30. I love how I could technically use my undercover ability to study them and use that to make Arturo seem more like he's somebody who's supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Become more Does Shepard have the arrogant. thing that can, that can gather Basically. information about them, actually? Shepard, you've got something that gathers information from them after a minute, right? Uh, yeah, I do. Who's who's the big dumb one again on their team? Yes. This guy. Hmm. All right. And since we've been here for two minutes. Yeah, which two people do you want to know about? Given her super fanness, she would know a base idea of what their skill set is and who's most active when they go into combat. How much since they, they're three time winners, how many of those three have they actually had to face off against somebody? Two of the three they had to fight someone. Okay. So that would give me an idea, a base idea of who is most active and who sits back in the fight. Because usually you'll have, you know, a couple of people that are your front heavy hitters. They're doing all your yep. big damage and activity and stuff. And then you'll have a couple of people who are kind of like second line of defense and stuff. Do you want I to want do know... front liners or? No, because I would think that we would have, she would have at least a... <sighs> There's pros and cons for both. Because I have a feeling they're going to hit us with everything. Because we're equal. Party for party. Well, as much as I hate to throw this out into the atmosphere, targeting the healer is probably your best bet. So if you mm -hmm. know who their group, generally their group healer is, knowing how much HP he has might be nice. Yeah, and who's their big rock dummy guy? Yeah, we'll go with that. Like serious I question. Know this, this, uh... Which one's their big rock, dummy guy? Ah, uh, that would be... Lucille says, knowing, of course. They don't have a healer. Uh, these two are probably the tankiest. They tend to be in the front. I can't see if you're... Uh, ping on anything. Beat. That guy. And that guy. Got you, okay. I, I do want to do something before we leave. I want to go up and whisper you, to one of them. You don't remember them having a healer, though. Uh, they pretty much just go. Like, hey, you should alter their memories and make them forget that they <laughs> that they could fight. <laughs> right? I don't think you can go back that that far. So who who do you want to know, Lucille? Who are you picking for to know your enemy? You got opinion? Since we've got two minutes. The leader. In here. Armor class of their leader. Perhaps okay, AC of the leader. All right, so you get to know two things. Armor class and what else? Um, let's go with current hit points. All right. Uh, I guess I'll tell you shield as well. Because um, it's, well, I don't know. I guess it's just hit points. So. Because I guess current hit points wouldn't include the shield because shields wouldn't no, be up right now. It's, not, it's also not hit points, right? Shield's not hit points. It's like a, or is it? It's weird. It's shield hit points, and then there's yeah. health hit points. I'll leave it up to you, Zan. Um, I'll say his shield's down right now anyway, so, you know, he's got 200 health and 20 AC. 
Mm -hmm. You do recall that their toughest fight they ever had was when multiple teams ganged up on them out in the field. And several of them went down, but the leader guy was, like, head and shoulders above the rest of them. Laser eyes, like, soloed a lot of people. He's he's pretty strong. He's, like, a lot stronger than the rest of his team. Should have got their class level. Well, you can well, still you know, know another cool. one. You've got another minute, so you can pick another person to know your enemy. Or you can pick the leader again to know two more things if you want. Let's take who appears to be the second to him. The guy who was hardest to take it down next. And I want okay. to know the same. Yeah, that would probably be the guy with the coffee maker. Uh, I believe his name is Black Meteor. Uh, Black Meteor has no hit points but 160 plate. Oh, okay. What the hell? And his AC is 19. I wait to relate any information until we're in the lift. Of course. All right. Uh, was it Eon wanted to do something real quick? Yeah. All right. You certainly can. Uh, at the end, before they're gonna leave and go to the lift, uh, she wants to approach the Black Meteor in, uh, almost a flirtatious manner. And want to whisper a little something-something in his ear, if I can. Alright. What do you whisper? <laughs> um... If I can get his attention without, like, anyone else hearing, if that's possible. I mean, you're actually, like, physically whispering to him, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'd like to do, if I can. If, you know, he's allowed it. Uh, when you get close to him, he goes, like, uh, no thank you. And he kind of puts his hand out. That's fair. Yeah, rejected. You should... Eh, I don't care. You should still trip your leader when you get off the lift. You gotta give him a reason. It's gotta be reasonable. Oh, it needs to be reasonable? Oh, that should be it, right? Yeah, it's the... Uh, Word in such a manner as make a course I sound reasonable. Oh, that's fair. Never mind then. I didn't read that you part. Know, Never mind. You know would make you He's look really cool. Big a massive dick to you. Ah, I should. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. You know what? Suggestion is often overestimated. Yeah, that is fair. I, I don't use it much, so it's it's kind of hard to. A lot of DMs are also very permissible with it too. Mm, okay. Okay. So yeah, yeah. You should uh, disrupt your leader's next action. You know he's been showing you up a lot recently. You kind of want to, you know, take the. It would make good dinner. Yeah, make a TV. All right. <laughs> so all of them hear this, and the black meteor is like, "What? I would never do that." Because that's completely unreasonable to them. That's fair, then. Yeah. It yeah. Still tells me something. This guy goes over to the black meteor is like. Yo, is this chick bothering you, honey? <laughs> I love Wait a that. Who went over to what now? No Wait, who, who was it? That. Who was it again? Who was it? I love that no one has anything. All right, ten. Oh no, no, I, I missed nine. that. Who? Who? Yeah, who I went where? Seven. Did I go with the guy with the glasses? Uh, no, his beard guy. Oh, the one to up. the right, okay. Yeah, the one to the right, yeah. Hold it! Uh, five, four, three, two. And the lifts both activate. And the lift. Alright, you guys head up. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. 
dispersing the information to the crew about HC and uh, hit points. All right. Good to know. Ooh. Some big boys. This game has hit points. That's weird. I'm put uh, Biotic yeah. Presence back up. What's an AC? How did they determine what our hit were before we came in here? It shows in the, above our heads in the next round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It opens into a hallway that is filled with mechanical warriors riding laser sharks in a pool of Good water. God. Oh my God. It's a 30 foot long hallway. The sharks and the mechanical warriors are all waiting to attack anybody who tries to pass through this hallway. And it, the floor is entirely water. Well, we got climb speed still. How big is this room? 30, 30 foot hallway. Long. Hallway, yep. I skilled will work here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it will. That would actually be a good idea if you have the resources for it, right? Yeah, I still do. I'm getting down pretty low, but it's whether we think that you uh, will prevent more uh, more health than a than a heal spell. It's up to you. Resources would heal. Yeah, I'm gonna basically as as they're like I'm imagine they're like jumping out and diving under, and I'm gonna basically wait for the perfect moment when all of them are either under the water, in the water, or completely out of the water. To just mess up as many of them as I can, and then I'll throw out an ice field. All right. Uh, using your Omni tool, you unleash a wave of frost across the entire hallway, freezing the water solid, uh, trapping all of the sharks and mechanical warriors in the ice. They drop their weapons. Many of them are stuck, submerged, and they're they're trapped, flailing. And your party is free to use the ceiling to circumvent the challenge here. And over. All right, you guys run across the ceiling and get in the lift. Cool. Nice. All right. It opens up into a 200-foot-long hallway. There is a gate across the entrance of the lift, like a, a metal gate that you cannot get through. Uh, it's bars, though, so there's, like, some space between them. 200 feet away, there is a target on the door to the lift at the other end. Like a like a bullseye. Go get him, Arturo. Oof. Wait, ignore that minus five. Yeah, without the minus five. That's still only a 14. I did not roll well there. Holy shit. Yeah, unfortunately, you take aim, you fire, and your shot hits the door at the other end. Uh... For the sake of speed, that means we're looking at the other six members of the party to try to do something about this. Somebody right, else would like to hit it. it. It's 200 feet. Away it? 200 feet 200 away. Feet? I think I'm the only uh, one that doesn't have disadvantage to make that shot. Um, I would have yeah. disadvantage. I'll take a shot at it. Okay, just in case nobody makes the shot, uh, um, Tasty is going to start zooming down the hallway. <laughs> okay. You said it's 200 oh, yeah. feet? 200 feet. Yeah. Wow. 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 Uh, Lucille hits the bullseye with her <laughs> Avenger. Wow. What a way to show me up. <laughs> yeah. That's why <laughs> she's the XO and not you, Arturo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Arturo lines up the shot with, like, his sniper rifle and misses. And then uh, Lucille, like, taps, Walks up tri 20 taps feet. the trigger on her Avenger. Iron and the bullet happens. While sprinting. Yeah, mm -hmm. iron sights it and just hits it. Yeah. Does the commander show a perfect shot? We're not, we're not <laughs> going to talk about this. When you hit the bullseye, the gate opens and the door to the lift at the other end opens so you guys are free to dash down the hallway. Dash it is. Mm -hmm. Alright. The lift rises She's up. Running. It opens into what looks like the kitchen of a standard spaceship. Uh, the kitchen is fully stocked, and uh, the ovens are already hot, and the door to the lift has a picture of a perfect omelet. Where are you for a fucking... Uh, David, oh. no. Isn't David a cook? Isn't cook. that like part of his... Is anyone... David, David. 
David is a cook. David has proficiency in cook's utensils. Go ahead and give me Eon a cook's utensils well, yeah. roll. Uh, a, a tech uh, tech boost or tech support. Yep. I can help you as well, David. Oh, Hell yeah! Oh, God. David. Oh, David oh my goodness, 32! David, lightning fast, whips up a perfect omelet you with actually, no time to spare. You actually have proficiency with cooking! I, yeah. Right, and that is how you make a perfect risotto. Right, uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As as you, you I mean, your beef Wellington was amazing. So I mean, yeah. In in a matter of of moments, you like right. like just bare the bare minimum time it takes to cook the egg. You have yourself an omelet, and as soon as it's done, uh, it, a, a a curtain lifts, and there's a panel of robot judges with chef hats. Uh. And they show two tens and a nine, and the door to the lift opens. Nine. I'm gonna. Oh, like, the one that gave me the nine is we're leaving. I'm doing that thing where I point at my eyes, and then I point at the <laughs> robot. <laughs> that robot's always really picky. Intimidate the robot. All right, heading up. I love that that room. Mark was sitting here like, "What the fuck? How are we gonna?" And then David has to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so fun fact about Ronnie the uh, player: every one of my characters I've ever made has proficiency in cook utensils. Because if you if you don't know how to cook, how are you going to be an adventurer? Valid <laughs> point. I just said it point. Point. David said it like three times, so that's why I remembered he was a cook. Yeah. All right, you open up into the room that has lasers and swinging blades and saws going back and forth across the ceiling and floor. There a pattern to it. It's thirty foot long hallway. There's a, sort of a pattern. It's very hard to follow, especially on limited time. Right, it will be a very that. difficult uh, acrobatics check to get through this. Well, I have I still have advantage on mine, so I'll is do there, it. I'll go. Is there a control box or anything that I can see in the room? You don't see anything like that now. Hey, Kronk's gonna Ray use another and... free charge to get across. Yeah, I also, yeah, I also, like I said, I got advantage and a plus eight to my acrobatics, so I can. Um, well, if there, the problem is if there's no way for you to turn it off, we're all gonna have to make the roll anyway. So I'm trying to oh, figure out a way fair. we can. Mm. Wait, all of us gonna have to make the roll? If what there's no we... way for him to turn it off, we all have to get through the hallway. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, we got teleporters. We got teleportation, teleportation as well. Because mm -hmm. Aaron can teleport oh. uh, Ray across again if we want. What is it? It's a laser thing. Okay, there sorry. Are, somebody uh, else is talking to me. 30 foot long hallway filled with lasers, saw blades, and swinging blades. It's Very high, high DC acrobatics to get through it or teleport. Is there any chance this was on a previous season to be able to get an advantage? I'll give you advantage on it, yeah. Can I relay the pattern to get other people an advantage? Yes, but it will time. significantly delay your part. Uh, I yeah. am going to give a biotic inspiration to Shepard, uh, and then Aaron's going to... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to use my inspiration to give myself advantage here. I'm going for it. Could nice. I attempt to use sabotage and, like, just try to sabotage like the the mechanism that is keeping the keeping the all the stuff in motion. Maybe try to jam it or something. Um, you can attempt to sabotage it, but again, it's a matter of like time is the real issue. Stop Doesn't this. Yeah. Doesn't the okay. sabotage spell also specifically attack the thermal clip? Uh, it also has an alternative ability that it affects, like, explosive stuff and right, stuff. Aaron, so, will, Aaron will teleport across Oh my across god. With you. I'm gonna roll. David, gonna, no. You know no, oh, I'm using my adaptive on that. I'm using my adaptive Aaron, Aaron's gonna that. teleport to, across with you, uh, Ray. What's the, um, inspiration, Aaron? Uh, D4. Alright, so let's see. Adaptive... Just re-roll it without advantage. Just not... Without advantage. Okay, yeah, that's what I was about D20. to ask. That's what I was about to ask. All right. 
Uh, there you okay. go. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. Very nice, Eon. Wow. <laughs> yeah. With a plus I'm two, surprised. Eon made it. <laughs> I, I think. Uh, so I need, uh, I need a dexterity save from everyone who went through because the DC was twenty five. But oh. for getting for getting twenty and up, you get advantage on your dex save. So advantage dex save from uh, all five of you. Or four of you. Yeah, five. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. So this was... Ooh, my goodness. Yeah. All right. What, David? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm here we getting go. So, through this. All right. I got a two deck saves of Eon. Oh, yeah, advantage. Yep, that makes sense. So uh, Arturo and Eon take half damage. David and Lucille take full damage. Wow. Okay, so with my evasion, then I take no damage. Yep. Is that half damage? Okay. Wasted my nat 20, no! One moment. Oh, we're going to be taking a bunch of damage, understood. Ooh. So I'm probably dead. So, we'll see. No, no. Bullshit. All right, there you go. Uh, fire slashing and piercing. Nope, but extremely close. Ooh, we're going to need Ray to heal you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Very much. 20 yeah, damn like for me. A yeah. lot. Like, I'm going to need a lot of healing. As everyone comes um, across the trap, 30. because Ray effectively didn't have to do anything, can I just drop a mass cure wounds as everyone runs into the uh, left? Yes. I am at 20, 20 HP out of 94. Uh, that didn't work. So it's going to be this plus eight. Uh, everyone's going to heal for 12. All okay. right. And then I will drop another of my... Hey, the book speed book back at full. Unfortunately, I'm not getting that plating back. I'll drop another Metagel on David. Okay, I was going to say, use my improved Metagel if you can, please. I have improved Medjill. That's all I have right now. That's why they're, they're so high. Plus nine, and how much is improved Medjill heal? Because I'll just use my own on me, too. Because I'm fucking... I'm still kind of... I'm not liking it. What is it? 44 uh, plus 4? Uh, just give yours to me, and I can use another one on you with my action. There, I'll just hand you mine, and you can do that, then. Here you go. There. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, now we're cooking with grease again. Like that. I like that shit. I like that shit. I like that shit. All right. All right. Is everyone else okay on health? We don't have to worry about it. Aaron and Crunk had yes. uh, teleport stuff, so. Okay, cool. I should have. I should have just. Twenty two out of sixty, so I should be okay for a floor or two more. The lift opens into what looks like the council chambers. There are five robots wearing fancy hats, and one of them just goes, Reapers, you say? There's a prompt on the door that says, Convince the council! Oh! No! Oh, oh God. God. Well, I guess I'm up now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eon, Aaron, you got Oh, the... God. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, all, can... yeah. all of the robots are doing quotation mark things with their fingers. And the one in the middle just keeps going, Reapers, you say? Oh, uh, yes. Reapers. Oh, uh, yes. Reapers. Yeah, they got it wrong. It just says right. convince so, the council. <laughs> yeah, convince the council. <laughs> oh, my God. The most famous Turian in the galaxy. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah. Reapers. Oh, dear God. Yeah, Aaron definitely does not envy um, <laughs> the original Shepard. Um... <laughs> And I'm sure the other no, group no, even knows exactly what, the what line to say. I've told you everything about what's in this room. Like, it is exactly as absurd as I've described <laughs> it. It is honestly not very clear what you're supposed to be doing. Can I give uh, Can I give Aaron, like, a, a quick, using my history, a quick rundown of the political situation before the Reapers uh, I... entered the galaxy, just to try to give her, like, knowledge on what she needs to... Sure, what, really what, fast, what, yeah. To, I mean, Aaron was a Spectre then, too. <laughs> yeah, so it's not like you didn't know about it. Yeah, yeah but... Oh, um, I do have history as well, but... 
Now, Aaron is going to uh, try to uh, not convince the uh, the count quote. Uh, sorry, air quotes council that uh, that the Reapers are a real threat, uh, but just that it is uh, worth allowing uh, allowing her to uh, to investigate further. All right, what do you say? What do you say to the robot oh, council? Gosh. <laughs> um. <laughs> The camera zooms in on your face, counselors. I know that it is your it is your duty to uh, to show skepticism to such outlandish sounding claims. Uh, however, every claim is worth investigating, and this one, as a as a specter, I judge to be worth worthy of my um, my dedication uh, to uncover the truth of. All right, roll persuasion. Fantastic. Do I get advantage of this because of uh, other stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you've been aided by the party, certainly. We got this. Hmm. Uh, what the the middle one goes, well said, and two of them start clapping, and one of them, their arm falls off. And the door <laughs> opens. I'm, I'm wondering if it was as simple as just going, fuck you, and they go, well said. <laughs> <laughs> this floor right. makes me sad. <laughs> You pass the animatronic council and get in the lift and head up. And when, when, uh, which, when Lucille says uh, this chamber makes me sad, uh, Aaron, Aaron will say, actually a fairly historically accurate representation. That does not help. <laughs> <laughs> or more historically accurate than you realize. <laughs> All right. It opens into a laboratory filled with test tubes and beakers and bubbling fluids. And and it says, you're halfway there to solving the genome. Looks at Ray. Mm -hmm. Genome? Ray immediately will start like looking through any notes, anything that's on the table, trying to get any sort of hint of what they're talking about. It looks like something like a, a children's school science fair project that's half done. So as you start to look at things, you start to realize like what someone was trying to do here and like stopped before finishing it. You can make a science check to complete the project. Okay, here's a here's a tricky one. Does anyone have science? Probably no, not. Aaron does not. <laughs> anyone no. at all. All right. Well, I still have okay. A okay. No, Arturo is proficient with science. He's actually going to actively help you. Okay. Oh, we we'll get advantage on this. Make it an. Make it an. Oh, you're gonna actually take advantage. Yeah. Help actually. Okay. Uh, You'll still get that one on the D4. So 19. All right. 19. Working together, it takes you a little bit, but you are able to create the baking soda volcano, and it opens the door. Oh my the god. Lift. <laughs> I did this in school so many times as a child. <laughs> All right, you enter the lift and it goes up. I like the idea that Ray overcomplicated it. Like, she kept doing more than she had to, and that's why it took her so long. Probably. Arturo had to keep pulling her back. He's like, no, what are you doing? Stop doing that. You're doing too much. All right. The door opens to a hundred-foot-long hallway. The floor is missing, and instead there are platforms moving horizontally back and forth in a pattern, followed by spikes going up and down, flamethrowers, a mechanical bear. Uh, all of this is well below ceiling level, so you're able to just walk across the ceiling. <laughs> okay. I cannot believe they brought the bear back. <laughs> Jeez. You know, I had an environmental adaptation the first session, and I've just never been able to use it until now, so I'm really happy I kept it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Cool. So you guys just run over the entire, like, American Ninja Warrior course going along the ceiling. So many people loved that bear, and then it disappeared after season two. I'm glad they brought it back. <laughs> Bye, Bosco. His name was Bosco. That's great. I know, that's a reference. All right. It opens up into a room where the floor is covered in sand. There is a uh, kind of hole in the middle. 
and the hole looks a little mysterious, but nothing happens yet. Not while you're in the lift. The Chilling. other on the other side. Super van advantage. Does this look familiar to one of the previous seasons? You're pretty sure there's a robot worm in here. Ceiling. Yeah, all right. You guys run across the ceiling. Uh, but the worm comes out, and it's pretty tall, and it is able to reach the party. So the worm is going to attack someone. And it's attacking Eon. Uh, with a 28. Yeah, that hits. Oof. Oof. 11 piercing damage, and you are grappled. The party has to rescue Eon. I've got Eon you. Eon has been grabbed by the worm. Don't worry, I've got her. Can oh, I... Aaron. Oh. Aaron is going to... Um, actually, you've got pulse transit, don't you? Do you have do you have points to spare? Because I can come get you. It's one point. I can use one point. Wait, you only have one point, or because it's a it's no, a no, level, no. That's it's a level two spell. Oh no, I have also have a uh, face step. Oh yeah, face step. Okay, yeah, that's that's right. That's all you need. Yeah, do you want to just face step to the exit from the worm? Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, yeah, the worm catches you and you just face step, and the party doesn't have to turn around at all. Good, good, good. And you guys move up. Fantastic. All right. The lift opens into what looks like a giant spiral staircase going up. Final challenge. You don't see any traps, obstacles, puzzles. It's just a staircase going up, like a big, giant, very wide metal staircase spiraling up to the top of the tower. All right. Did you guys dash up the stairs? Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't really trust it, so uh, um, Tasty is going to lead the party. Super fan check. <laughs> All right. As you guys are going up the stairs... In the back yeah, of the party, the, the walls open up and mechanical pirates come out. Yar! And attack <laughs> Eon with scimitars. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I face step away again? Uh, well, they attack with a 22 and a 23 yeah. of their scimitars. Okay. That was both hit. 17 slashing. Oh my goodness. Uh, they are attached to the wall. So, like, as you run, they fall behind you. They don't, like, follow you. They just, they spring out of the wall. Gotcha. Um, I'm hurting now. That was so stupid. <laughs> Alright. Uh, as you guys are running up, one of the walls opens. And, uh, a cannonball is shot out of the wall at Kronk. Well, if it was gonna hit anybody... <laughs> yeah. And Fair it misses enough. him. All right. <laughs> they thought they could attack a cannonball with a cannonball. <laughs> Alrighty. And the oh wall, no, not Ray. The wall opens up, and a pirate robot comes out with a net and tries to grab Ray in a net. Twenty six. Yeah, 26 will hit. Ray is captured inside of a net by a robot pirate, <laughs> forcing the party to hesitate so I... that you can get, get her out. Everybody else keep going. We'll catch up. Aaron's going to drop back and do the uh, the pulse transit save. All right. Yep. You pulse transit with Ray, like, back up to the party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Eon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the ceiling <laughs> opens. <laughs> And a, a robot pirate drops down upside down to a slash at Eon. Owie. Yar! Okay. I'm going down next time I get it. At least it wasn't a crit. 
Nine damage to Eon. Oh my god. Well, I just talking. keep rolling sevens, dude. I was about to say, I watched your health plummet. Did you take out 26? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was my bad. I misread it. No, we're good, we're good. There we go. Alright, time for Kronk again. Oh, Kronk gets another cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> he Please. is a big target. Yes. <laughs> wow. The cannonball sucks. They're gonna need a bigger gun. Oh, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> You have not rolled less than a five. Of the party. Let's put Eon in the I, front. I, Either that I, or just put Eon out of her misery. I mean, it's, it's, I'm just doing like party order. No matter where you put her, I rolled. Yeah. Eon, so, uh, let's see here. Yeah, the pirate captain robot emerges from the staircase. Yar! And attacks twice, once with the scimitar and once with a, uh, it's hook hand. 14 and 17. Just one hit. The hook hand hit. The hook hand hits for four. Okay. Uh, the pirate captain is blocking your way. He is completely barring your way up the stairs. You can try to, like force your way around him or you could if you have another phase step you can phase step can we climb the roof over him uh only eons being blocked because eon was in the back oh of the oh so just me yeah i'll just yeah. uh face oh. up at that point then okay yeah you just boop over him all righty as you near the top of the stairs, the wall uh, shunts open suddenly, and you guys hear bells and creaking board sound effects as a as the metal hull of a model pirate ship rams into your party. Oh God! And it it rams into the front of your party. So no. I need a dexterity save from Arturo, David, and Shepard. I think I'm good. I think I'm probably good. Half damage for Arturo and David, or none if you have evasion. Full damage for Shepard. 30 bludgeoning. Oh... We're fine. We're Fuck, fine. that hurt. <laughs> Fortunately, with your climb speeds, the party is able to circumvent the model pirate ship without much trouble. You guys just kind of like go up the side of it and go over it. Hey, Ray, if you get a chance, could definitely use an assist. Do they usually, in past competitions, do they give the parties times to time, a little bit of time to rest before they do the final fight, or is it like all or nothing right into it? There's definitely time, yeah. I'm, I'm basically what I'm asking is, are we going to get a short rest before the final fight, or is that not a thing that's going to happen? You will not get a short rest. Okay, then yeah, I'll go ahead and drop. A, uh, I'll drop an AOE heal first, since everyone's down a little bit. Uh, I'm getting desperately low on. All so right. it's going to be this plus eight. So, everyone's going to heal for 14. I'm just concerned about how much plating that one member of their party had. And, uh... Eon and Shepard are both going to get one of my last four uh, metagels, so... I do have an improved metagel on me. Okay, well, if you guys, if you guys don't mind just handing off your meta gels back to me when I use them on you, so I can yeah. keep a stock, I'd appreciate that. Yep. But I will want first for Shepard, second for Eon. I didn't even look. Shepard heals twenty, Eon heals seventeen. Okay. Yep. I've got just that advanced one on me. I don't have any basics. Do you have an improved one on you, uh, Shepard? Sure, improved. That's what I mean. An improved meta gel. All right, you are in the you are in the final lift going up to the roof of the tower. 
I'm this is it. not too up, well they're they're up there. And your lift reaches the top of the tower at the exact same time as theirs. As the two of your lifts arrive at the top arena, you hear the the announcer say, "And we have a battle to decide who will be the greatest space ranger." A semi-transparent wall appears here. There's no cover here. This is not good for me. On the semi-transparent wall is a number. It's counting down from 60 seconds, which means you have 10 rounds. You also know exactly when the fight's going to start. Because there's literally a timer till the wall disappears. Can we get a short rest in 60 seconds? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You have one minute. All right. Time to take our break. Ray, you are the first to act. No, oh, I was not prepared for this at all. Uh, I'm going to hold my action until after Shepard. Shepard, you're up. Using distraction. Who's your target? Him. All right. Next roll uh, from him against or uh, 20, next attack. Twenty nine definitely but hits. Me. Right. Yep. Next attack, we'll have advantage. Damage there. And then I'm going to hit him. 22. That'll hit. Gotta love double for, shield for damage. 12, and, and I'm going to hit him with distraction as well. So I get to roll two superiority dice, one apiece. So there's first guy. And there's a second guy. So they're both hit with distraction. All right. So the next people who attack that are not me on them gets advantage on their roll. Understood. Ray. I'm going to go ahead and just cast defense drone on myself. And I guess uh, go over here and just drop prone so I can hide behind this cover. Me being out in the open is probably not a great idea, so I will end my turn. All right. Uh, you've got a little drone. Where are you putting the drone? It stays within 15 feet of me. Or it hovers around me, and if something within 15 feet... More like feet an AoE, then. Yeah. It's an aura, basically. It's just a, yeah, it's just a little aura that is around me that hits people if they try to hit me. It's Spirit Guardians. Alright. David, you're up. Um... Alright. Well, since I'm under the effects of alacrity, I will... Bonus action, blood tracker, this guy. Alright. I'm gonna move directly in front of him. And I will proceed to punch with aggression. Okay, let's see here. So I gotta make sure I count my attacks right, so... Attack, attack, haste attack, martial arts attack, back off. Okay. All right. So, one. Is that one it? Hit. Uh, it has advantage because of Shepard. Oh, right. Crit right. fish. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll roll again just in case I crit fish. Yep. No. All right. Now, next punch. Uh, Miss. 16 hit. 
Okay, uh, third punch. Hit. Uh, and fourth punch. Bam. There it is. Right. Money shot. And, because I'm feeling pretty confident in myself when it comes to this guy, I'm going to back right back up into this distortion field, so if he wants to take an attack of opportunity, he can. All right. Miss. No. <laughs> All right. She moves here. And then she puts a hand on her forehead and her other hand out towards David and does a really exaggerated, like, expression and, and does a bunch of weird stuff with her body, like trying to look like she's being psychic. Uh, give me a wisdom save, David. She's actually doing biotics, but being really stupid about it. If it's a spell, he has advantage on it. It is a biotic spell. All right, then I will turn that on. You said wisdom? Wisdom. All right, advantage, wisdom, boom. And now here's the question. Before you tell me if I, uh, before you say if I failed or not, I have something for this. If it's a failure, which is, uh, where is it at? It's something for being the a human. human. Thing, not yeah. rapid. Yeah, it's, uh, adaptive. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, if you roll a natural nine or lower on anything that, you know, to be mentally controlled or influenced, I can add a D10 to the roll. So am I being mentally influenced or something in any way? Uh, that's kind of vague. Um, uh, well, this is a question for Mark. Would this only be something like dominate, or would it also include, say, like, hold person? No, like domination, suggestion, things that alter their free will. Okay, so no, okay. Th this doesn't apply. Okay. 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 You, you just get held, basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, they all go in a row? Holy shit. Yeah, they have a... Yeah, they, I know. This, a is, unit. This, is, yeah. this is the brutality of it all. Here we go. Alrighty. Which then this guy's gonna go. He's gonna move 30 feet up, uh, just like she did. But one in. They move in formation. And then I need Kronk to give me a wisdom save with advantage. Um, wisdom? Yep. He is just fine. All right, next we get the backliners here. All right. Uh huh. I'm going to just take a shot here. With a pretty big rifle. We're going to aim at, uh, I mean, we're going to aim at David because he's I mean, incapacitated. Yeah. yeah. 20? Uh, what I have activated, no. Okay. Also shooting David. Oh, God. That, that, yeah, that hits. Alrighty. 31. Piercing. Alright, so six, so 16 damage total after my barriers are zero. Got it. Alright. Minus 16. Alright. Alright. Alright, this guy's gonna run up to here. And just make some attacks. Okay. Got to make sure I've got advantage here. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah, no. Ten bludgeoning. He punches you with metal fists. And actually, hold on. Let me do something real fast. This might make a difference. Okay, no. And then that one, no. Okay. All right, so a bit more damage. Uh, if he's being held, isn't aren't those crits? The melee yeah. would be a crit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Would that be... Two more. Oh, okay. okay. Not, bad. Not bad. Just a D8, so it's two uh, more. Wait, are you taking it to your shields? Have you taken any of this to your shields yet? My shields are gone. I got sniper rifled. You've got a blue bar on my, on my screen. There you go. Well, I don't know why I still have a blue bar. I only have barrier. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I don't know why my health bars aren't updating either, because I'm actually below half health now. I it's updating it. for me. That. Yeah, you just refresh your page oh, okay. and it'll it'll change it on your side. Okay. Sweet. And then he is going to make two more unarmed strikes. Okay. Interesting. Both of those hit. Crazy. I'm probably down, guys. So good luck. 18 and 13. This includes crit damage. Uh, you are well, not down. I'm very, your... very, very close. Yeah, Based on your health, you're not. Um, I have 10 left. The other frontliner is going to go for Kronk. Going for a grapple here. Oh my. <laughs> He's going to make a 18. Okay, uh, right. he, he is capable of an 18. <laughs> so he grapples Kronk. Oh, he has advantage on this? Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he does have advantage on this, yeah. All right, Kronk is grappled then. He is going to suplex Kronk. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so he suplexes Kronk. I need a constitution saving throw from Kronk. Oh, dear God. 28 bludgeoning, and Kronk is prone. Okay, 28 bludgeoning. He's prone and grappled. Okay, barrier is gone. Temp HP is touched. Okay. All right. This guy makes a peace sign with each of his hands and puts them in front of his eyes. <laughs> he kind of does a little bit of a squat, and as he squats, his <laughs> eyes glow and it looks like he is charging up, and that is his whole turn. Arturo. Laser Eyes is, char is doing something. All right. Um, uh, blue Dog, was... she's concentrating on David. I was going to shoot the guy with all the plating, but... Uh, you know what? Fine. I'll put one right between Laser Eye's eyes. Okay. I'd, I'd appreciate you shooting the bitch who's got me held, but okay. I mean... Just so, just so I'm not paralyzed and dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me, let me shoot the person with the holding hold person on, <laughs> on David. The good news is that now your entire party gets to go. So. Bear. Yeah. Ooh, David. My wow, goodness. it's fucking 17. Does a 17 hit her? It does. Yeah. For 46. All right. Damn. That's all fire damage. Makes her concentration. 
Uh, 46 divided by 2 is 23. Wow. Yeah, she did it. not make that. Oh! oh. Uh, yeah, that's a really high concentration, DC. That caught me off guard. <laughs> I did quick math in my head, but you're right. I was wrong. Yeah, holy shit. A 22 actually fails. Yep. I'm not used to 22 failing concentration. <laughs> All right. That's fair. In my defense. And then with that, I will then bonus action cloak back up. Interaction reload and move slightly. That's our turn. All right, Aaron. Okay. Which one was the uh, the all plating guy? Do do suplex trunk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he's got shields up right now. A little bit of shields, yeah. Okay. Then, let's see. All right. Uh, Aaron is going to uh, cast incinerate on him. that many it'll hit if there's any all overflow. right low yep you drop his shields and the overflow hurts okay uh, and then I will convert my last tech by my last sentinel point to uh, combo tech and biotics um, I want to get at least one biotic point And, yeah, I'll get, I'll get like one biotic point, and uh, actually I'll get two biotic points and one tech point out of that. Kronk is up. He's prone and grappled. Okay. I believe while you're grappled, your speed is zero, so he actually can't get up, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so he cannot stand up. He's um, stuck. A melee attack from prone has disadvantage, and uh, his shotgun being a let's actually wait no only one handed we only one handed range weapons actually have disadvantage when prone, so he's actually gonna pull out his shotgun because he's got aggressive. He can shoot it at this guy. Uh, wait, right. this guy this guy suplexed Kronk and is still grappling him. Yeah. That is fucking insane, dude. <laughs> What's insane is he decided to get into a grapple with match with a Krogan. It's gonna, it would take me an action to uh, to break out of this, right? He suplexed him and then just reached back for the pen and like turned, like pivoted around. Yeah, like did the wrestling flip. Yeah, he did thing. the wrestling yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Kronk's gonna take out his, uh, his shotgun. Um, yeah, shoot him with the shotgun. Well, bonus action charge weapon, uh, and then uh, yeah, shotgun him. Boom. I mean, it definitely hits. Oh my god. Alright. Um, debating a carnage. I've got eight biotic points. Uh, count energy down. One round fired. Managing his resources here. Um, that'll be 19 piercing. Uh,. Carnage would be 3d8. Um, I think I will add a, uh, a Carnage on just for one point for 2d8 warp damage. Alright. That damage won't be reduced against plating. There we go. All right. So you end up doing 16 total. Okay. All right. Anything else from Kron? Nope. That is it. That's action, bonus action, and doesn't have a move. So, Eon, what you got? Okay, I'm gonna be doing some things. Right. Okay, so I'm going to twin a reeve. Wait, let me double check something first. These two right here. We can see that they don't have any like shields or correct barrier, 
right? So I'm going to twin my Reeve and I'm hit them. I'm also going to quicken a warp and hit uh, the third dude over here. Is that a leveled spell? It is not. It's a cantrip. Okay. So I sure. can make it a bonus action, correct? Yeah. yeah okay, this is my works. first time doing all this, so. No, this works. Yeah, you can d d blow the load. Okay, yeah. and then I'm going to also I'm gonna I, channel my. Um... Ironically, doing this kind of shit is used to be called Novaing in old school D and D. Although you're not using Nova here, right? <laughs> but this I'm is gonna, called like going Nova. I'm gonna channel my destructive wrath as well for the Reeve to do okay. damage to the two. Yeah, just all in. All right, uh, what am I rolling here? Yeah. To get everything out. And you figure out who's rolling what. So con save for these guys. Very important con save. The two at the bottom right over here. First one's the girl. Oh. And then the guy. Yep. Damn. Yeah. So we'll just do the reeve first. Uh, max damage. So I think it's still 60. Correct. Uh, 5d10 plus 5 is currently 55 unless you add, you're adding more to it. My warp, uh, adds my bonus five warp more. adds 5 more, yep. So 60, okay. 60 total. Okay, so she goes down. Uh, <laughs> you just put her down. And uh, since he no, saved, he doesn't get... He only takes half damage. damage, right? Yeah. Yep. So he takes 30, and then this does some other, this does something else, right? Um, he made the save, so he's not incapacitated. He's good. Okay. She's yeah. the only one that would have been, like, pro. Yeah. But I'll she... mark that she's incapacitated anyway, in case, she, like, a teammate gets her up, right? She wouldn't be able to act this until the start of your next turn, even if, no problem. Even if someone gets her up. Yeah. Although you guys know that their team doesn't have a healer. <laughs> and right. then that hits the guy. Uh, why is it not rolling my damage? Try clicking on the word warp. It's not doing it. I got it. Yeah, I got, I got 12 here. It's 2d10, right? Yeah, it's 2d10. And we'll just take the 12. Assuming you're okay with that. The next one oh, was yeah, that's fine. The next one was an attack roll. Yeah. Yeah, the 17 was an attack roll. Yeah, I was supposed to. It just it wasn't popping up for me for some reason. Yeah. I mean, I, I was able to make it roll. So we'll, you'll take the 12. It's yeah, average. Yeah, no problem. We can take it's that. It's actually, like, almost perfectly average. One point more. Shepard, it comes back around to you. All right. We're going to go for the guy that's hanging on to David. Or the All guy right. that was punching David. Oof. Um, I am going to... Good thing you're a halfling. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I'm going to adaptive and reroll that. Oh, that's you were better. a halfling, it turns out. All right. <laughs> All right, that hits. And I am going to superiority die, pushback or a concussive shot. So that's going to shove him fifteen feet um, against a saving throw. Okay. Strength save. Mm -hmm. Can take five damage plus ten, so fifteen. Uh, I think he gets pushed. Mhm. Mm well, it's fifteen back. 15. All right. And then we're gonna shoot him again. You also put him down, actually. Oh, shiny! We're gonna shoot the oh. guy playing with Tronk. How about twenty-seven for him? That'll hit. For another 10. Alright. 
And that's electric, and... so I'll note it doesn't get reduced. There we go. And... I'm gonna hit him with taunt. So here's what taunt does. And that's another purity. Yeah, guy. nice. So that's seven too, so it's seventeen. Alright. And I'm clear. He fails. He has been taunted. Nice. Hey! Look her over here! <laughs> what? Did someone say over here to me? I hate when people say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> My man is losing it. <laughs> How dare you say over here to me? You know who I am! Badly. Let you just oh, God. Time. Don't let me get shot, David. I'm going to get up and then run over here. I'm going to prone. And then I'm going to drop a metagel on you. Slap you with a metagel. Boom. Slap. 24. Damn. And then oh I'm going to drop a first aid on you. For another 11. So 35 HP. And then tower oh. behind David. <laughs> You're up, David. Alright, so when it comes to like grappling and moving somebody, what is that again? Because we it's not, it's only come up a couple times. Like if it's an ally, it's what do I do? If you manage to grapple someone, you can move them while moving at half speed with you. So if I wanted to grapple Ray right now and put her back behind the barricade as I move, it would be movement. it would be an action to grab Ray, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you can move at half speed, taking Ray with you. You can move Ray the same number of spaces you move, going at half of your move speed. No, your, just how, to... how messed up is the guy that that's messing with Kronk? You know, Ray, uh, if you would have been one block over, you could have hit him with your defensive drone. He is decently damaged. Bonus action, blood tracker on that guy. I'm just going to look back at Ray and be like, I'll be right back. And I'm going to proceed to try to give this man reckless aggression. Arturo, that guy just suplexed a Krogan, which is canonically weighs a thousand pounds. I don't want him anywhere near me, so I'm not going to provoke him. As evidenced by the fact that he doesn't even have hit points and he's just plating, this guy is very mechanical. <laughs> Which is how he suplexed a Krogan. Yeah. 17 hit? Yeah. Uh, no. 24 hit? 24 will hit. Alright. Uh, tink, tink, tink. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Fine, and fine. then I'm going to back off. So if he gets a swing on me. He will take a, a swing with disadvantage. Okay, monsieur. Swing. Can he still attack while grappling the Krogan? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah he I thought he could only attack the Krogan. Nah. You got feet. That's, a, that's not disadvantage. That is disadvantage. 23, I will biotic barrier. Fuck that. I ain't gonna let you get a hit on me. I just right. got healed. When he punches <laughs> your barrier, you're like pushed away from him and your barrier shatters. You don't take any damage or anything, but you see like steam coming out from between his metal knuckles and there and there's like glowing heat all up his mechanical arm from the from the force of it. This guy's actually kind of scary. Alright. Will that be all David? Yes. Alright. They don't have healers. So there we go. Good. And I came back. 
this guy moves to here. He puts his hands on his temples and goes, Oh, with the power of my mind. And he lifts up his sunglasses. And them. you see that he's wearing contact lenses, so his eyes are purple. The power of bionics. He puts his hand up in the air. Nova. And uh, he's going to Nova, you guys. That is fantastic news, actually. <laughs> I hate you so much, man. Everybody has advantage on this. Um, can I use my reaction to disrupt? Uh, yeah. Why did I think he was cool? Oh my god. Why did you, honestly? Where yeah, is you it? Try to the guy him. above me? Yeah, he's up here. It's that guy. Okay. Eon, you do know that uh, everybody has advantage on it, and anybody that succeeds oh. takes no damage. Got you. Okay, then. Um, I didn't. So I'll ignore that then. All right, so uh, this is only hitting five people, and because of all the cover and bullshit, Ray. Wait, I think Ray... I don't think it can hit Ray. It's just gonna the hit the wall. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna just damage the wall. So it's everybody else. It's these four people on the wall. So give me your deck saves with advantage. Hell yeah! Uh, no damage. Uh, you have advantage. No damage. Uh, no damage. No damage. Nice try, dumbass. How, how, much, how much health does the wall have? 50 total. Oh, it doesn't hit Kronk, does it? Nope. Nice. <laughs> okay. Did it hit wall me has or 50 me or... health. It didn't hit me or Ray, right? No. I don't know. Saved you some okay. biotic points there. <laughs> the wall does not go down. Yeah, that'll... Yep. Alright. You saved him. You just saved a minimum of like seventy-four damage, uh, Mark. Good job. That was a great <laughs> fucking great use of that ability. <laughs> this one moves to nice, and this one moves to here. They sync their Omni tools up uh -oh. and create a wall between them, a sort of semi-transparent holographic wall it looks a lot like what the omni tools are, are made of it has kind of that orange like semi-transparent look but they create like a, a, a huge wall in the way it is 20 feet tall that is the only thing that they do uh, this guy will let go of Kronk He is going to jump into the air, jumping over the wall and landing here in the middle of your party, doing like a superhero landing in the middle of you. This so does provoke from Kronk. So Kronk can take an attack of op with disadvantage if he wants. Uh, Mark. Yeah, you are Kronk. Of, uh, I know, this is just character sheets. Um... He does not have a melee weapon out. He only has a shotgun. Understood. All right. This guy is going to try to grapple Shepard. All right. Twenty-one to grapple Shepard. Is that Dex then? It is against your. What is it like? Athletics DC, guys. Uh, athletics or acrobatics, which I don't think you I'm have an eleven in. Is it a posed roll or a DC? Uh, DC. Yeah, so it's just ten plus your athletics or your acrobatics mod. Yeah, we we pulled the the Pathfinder one roll thing. I'm pretty sure you're grappled. Yeah, don't think you have an 11 in athletic I'm, or acrobatics, do you? I would be well, very so. surprised. You're you're probably grappled. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. I can find out. Uh, your acrobatics is eight. Your athletics is five. That means 18 would be the highest he's rolling against. So you are grappled. Damn All right. It. So he grabs you, and then uh, let's see here.
He is going to uh, try to elbow drop Shepard here. So just drop prone with Shepard, bringing his elbow down on her head. I really don't like that. <laughs> However, he misses. <laughs> You're literally hanging on to me. How do you... You know what? Never mind. It's fine. You're still both <laughs> prone now. <laughs> so, let me let me see if I'm, if I'm understanding this. He grabbed me, threw me to the floor, and then kind of dropped his elbow next to my head. Yeah. <laughs> you are still this grabbed. This is not how you get a woman's attention. <laughs> he goes, right. Ew. Why would I want a woman's attention? <laughs> Exactly. Oh uh, laser eyes charges up his laser eyes for a second consecutive turn and does nothing else. Harder right, turn. That one. All right. Ooh. Well. Oh, very nice. <laughs> okay. That oh, hell yeah. 50, 61 plus 17, so 78 damage. Alright, you drop him. You just As one result, shot that guy? <laughs> the barrier falls. Oh, damn. Yep. 72 damage, and yes, I one shot him. That's incredible. Yep. Laser face is my next target. Also, I will recloak and move another 20 feet and reload, and that is my turn. All right. Aaron, you're up. Hmm. Okay. The guy all the way at the end. Let me check the range on this. Oh, 60 feet, actually. Hang on. Uh, no. Okay. Not quite. Um, cannot quite reach him. Incinerate would be at disadvantage against this guy at this range, though he's prone. So it'd just be a regular because I'm five feet. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll try to incinerate the uh, the plating guy, Mister Mr. Right. WWE. Get him. I don't have advantage here. That's not, that's exact. Got the wrong person selected, but it's still the same modifier. Hit. There we go. Woo! God. Nice. Forty-six damage. Yes. Holy right. moly! You heat him up, and as you heat him up, steam starts to to pour out of his arm and, and he suddenly his eyes widen and he grabs his arm is like what no and his arm explodes spraying oh, boiling coffee all over him <laughs> <laughs> and he is out oh my god he is in a pool of coffee damn my oh, man got fucked we've already wiped out more than half their team don't don't Mr. Laser Man over there is about the fucking Cyclops optic blast. You are yeah, fucking laser laser face. Um, Aaron is going to move. Aaron, what what do you have left for your uh, contingencies? Uh, I've still got two, I think. Oh, what 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 is the thing that makes so you can uh, set their roll? Planning dice. I'm out. You're out of planning dice. Yeah. Fuck. Um, okay, try try to get within range of me, and I'm going to be within thirty feet of this guy. I can sabotage on his laser head. Oh God! If that counts as a weapon, because like you could, yeah, if it's like you couldn't sabotage somebody's Omni tool, um, but let's say I, it's something I, similar like that. The way like the that, spell word, the uh -huh. way the spell words is just ranged weapon. Okay, Aaron will stand here. Well, I don't know what the range on your deal is My to deal? reduce his roll. Yeah, to reduce his roll. Oh, for uh, contingency. Yeah, because I have to be within 30 feet of him to do it, so. Yeah, let me see, actually. 
I might not be able to get into the range to do that. Uh, remember, you do have mechanical joints. So you're at plus 10 minutes. That's right, that's right, yeah. Um, contingency is 60 feet. I think I actually... Actually, I probably can get into into range because I was, I was here and he's 90 feet from me. Um, you can only just get within 30 feet of him. Yeah, but then that leaves other people outside my aura. If I go to there, that leaves Arturo outside the aura. Are you okay with that, Arturo, or would you rather I stay? I'm invisible. I'll be fine. Go do your thing. Okay. I have evasion. Uh, then Aaron is going to move up to here. Yeah, that was action. Bonus action. Wait, did I have bonus action? Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'll cast Hesitation on myself, since I don't, yeah, I did a, I did a cantrip, so then bonus action, Hesitation. Got one Biotic and two Tech points left. Okay, that's my turn. Alrighty. Kronk is up, so it's your turn again. Uh, Kronk is going to spend 15 feet to stand. Um, hmm. Should I go after the main guy or hit the hit the guy on the flank here? I think I, yeah, I go after this guy on the flank. Um, Fifteen feet to there, and uh, blast him with the shotgun. The right character. All shot. right. Um, ba boom. Eighteen. Eighteen will hit. Boom for twenty-one. Uh, and I'll use uh, two biotic points to do a three D eight carnage. 14. All right. That'll be his turn. Okay. Eon, you're up. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just target this one with, uh, warp. Alright, that'll hit. Okay. Uh, 21 plus 5. Oh, nice. So, 21. Got it. And that'll be it. That dude's pretty low. Uh, Lucille, you are prone. I seem to stand up. And then I'm shooting him. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, God, nice. All right. And then, no, we're just going to hit him again. If you toss a die on it, the die will be doubled. Yes, yeah, superiority die would double. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, do, do, do. That's a wall there, so it's not going to matter if he gets shoved. Um... But I'll hit him with distraction, so that way, if somebody else atta needs to attack him, they get advantage. Let's so 2d8. So another 13. Damn, no. That'll put him down. Well, nobody has to attack him again. <laughs> and that's two for... No, that's not. I get another shot. 
Um, she's outside of my range, but I can still shoot her with um, disadvantage. Right? 90's out, right, out of range? Yeah. It's Let's try anyways. What about 18? That'll hit. 13. And... We'll hit her with distraction. Because right now I'm liking that. An extra two. All right. That takes me out of superiority dice. Next person to attack this girl up here will have advantage. Ray, you're up. Ray, don't be a hero! <laughs> yeah, this is gonna fucking suck if this doesn't work, because Ray's gonna eat a face full of it. Don't be All a right. hero, that's my job! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and drop the sabotage. DC? Yeah, DC 18. Intelligence check. Save, intelligence. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save, don't you? Yeah. All right. Ooh. All right. Which of the two eyes are you targeting? Oh no! Oh lord. Um, we'll do the left one. All right. He cannot use his left eye. Uh, wait. No, I'm on his right side. His right one. <laughs> he cannot use his right eye. And then I'll use my remaining ten feet of movement to move down here. That still counts as being within the circle, right? No, it's not nope. half the square. No. Also, okay, you don't have like any that. movement left. That you used your whole forty feet to get there. I have forty. I should have forty-five. Oh, I should have forty-five. So I move right there. All My right. base movement speed is thirty-five. Oh, okay. David. If it helps, I'm pretty sure I can probably take care of Laserface. <laughs> Okay, it's a matter of I don't think I can even get to the girl up there. Because can you get diagonally. The, face? the fact uh, that it matters he gets a turn is what I'm more worried about. I barely, I can barely make it to him. Then yeah, go for him. Okay. Uh I will move fifty five feet there. And then slide up five feet there. I will bonus action, uh, what's it called? Blood tracker this man, and I will proceed to try and inflict violence upon him. All right. Let's find out. Can you bonus action do that? Didn't you use your bonus action to get there? No, I have, I'm, I have alacrity. I have 60 feet of movement. Right, right, my bad. I forgot you're so, hasted. Does 22 hit? It does. That's one. Uh, the 16 hit? Miss. Nope. Miss. Yes! Hit. And that's all, right. all I have. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, everybody. She is going to take aim at, uh, let's see, Ray. Oh, shit. That's not good. This is Steady Aim Sharpshooter. Same thing I do. 
<laughs> Anyone got any shenanigans? Uh, nothing that can stop a crit. All right. Sorry, Ray. Do a silvery barbs would come in handy. Mm. All good. I am doubling the dice. Oh, 61. God. You okay, Ray? Ray is unconscious. Oh, no. Oh, she's a sniper, too. Got it. Mm hmm. He was the one who shot me when I was under a held, held person. How the hell did she have advantage? Laser face charges his eyes for another turn. Oh my god. Are you serious? Alright, Arturo. This man's about, this man's I'm shooting laser face in the face. Okay. I could also sabotage him one more time. That's a seven no. Eighteen. Does an eighteen hit? It misses. Oh no. Fuck. That's uh -oh. it, I, and I'm not invisible anymore. Uh-oh. Aaron. Okay, I'm close enough to hit with my big thing. Um, oh, but do I, do, I, do I drop the distortion field for it? Uh, this might be worth it. Yes, we've got two left. Take him down. All right. Uh, I'm going to drop my distortion field to cast Neural Shock on this guy. All right. One second, I'll get you the spell block. Boom. It's old person. But only for All organics. Right. Yep. Gotcha. That was close. Zap. <laughs> All right. So my distortion field is dropped. Uh, I think actually that also drops my uh, my sanctuary, my hesitation. It does. Um, so then I'll move back to. Behind here. <laughs> what was your move speed? Uh, 45 because of... Or not 45, uh, 40 because of... Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, the uh, thing that Arturo... Did Arturo put that on all of us? Mechanized yeah, I, that was me. I put mechanized joints on like half the part. All right. On the next attack before Lucille's turn, so gets advantage on that uh, on the girl. Yep. Um. Wait. Front line on trunk sheet is not saying all the details on it. Use body charge. You can make a single weapon attack against the target. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Kronk is going to use uh. One of uh, his last free biotic charge um, to get up in this woman's face. Uh, actually, he has to move five feet. Then he'll try to biotic charge to her. Um, so biotic charge. Oh, he doesn't have that back. There we go. Strength save? Uh, yes, strength save. Failed. Okay, so she's pushed back uh, 10 feet, I think. That was only 5 feet. Uh, it's only 5 feet. Okay, yeah, then. I guess it's. Yeah, that person's either way. Uh, sorry, I'm used to the old force rules. Um, 2 d No, 10 force damage. Okay. It should be whatever the ability says now. Yes. So. Uh, all right, so you have 10 force damage, and then he gets a bonus action shotgun attack. Ba Boom. Hit. 
He's also prone. Uh, yes, but within five. Yeah, within five. Yeah, okay. You have an advantage. Ah. Uh. Fish for a crit? Not quite. Uh, or no, this is a... No, you have advantage because of Rocky. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, there we go. So, 21 piercing, uh, and I'll put another two-point carnage in. All right. Wow, jeez. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Easy. All right. All righty. Eon, you're up. Okay. Do things. Um... I'm going to run 30 feet, and then I'm going to... I'm going to quicken cast um, Face Step, and then I'm going to... Why did I keep forgetting what it's called? I'm going to channel Destructive Wrath and Reeve Twinned the two up ahead. Alright. I'll go about right there. Uh, then I'll roll this off. So both, uh, if they both, he has a shield, so it'll do. They both fail their saves. Okay. So how much are we looking at here? Well, the shield, since he has a shield of its electrical damage, so whatever that damage is, and then I'm not sure when... It overlaps like that, and if it breaks his shield and it hits him and does and health, just does, it, does it also do the other effect? Or does it's it already all... just take the electrical? It's only electrical against shield. When it's his actual body, it's just warp damage again. So then, if he since he failed, does he... he he's also prone now, right? He's incapacitated. Uh, yes, if you break his shield and damage his delta to his health the way it's written, he will become incapacitated yes. from okay. Reeve as well. Yeah. So it does both of the effects. Okay, that's what I was asking. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> what's the damage? Um, it would be max, so 60. Uh, okay. so how much, whatever his shield was, I guess since it's electrical, it does double that, and then whatever was the remaining, uh, would go to his health. All right. I was looking for the spell, sorry. A loud chime plays. Mm -hmm. And it goes, Vanquishers, winner! By oh. elimination, one player remains who is incapacitated. Uh, oh. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna uh -huh. blow a kiss to the camera. Mwah. Lucille, I'm immediately you... running to Ray. So, uh, Shepard, <laughs> it now occurs to you, in hindsight, that you've never actually seen Laserface do his crazy move. He's never had to do it. Teams have, have often... Uh, the fights are usually pretty even, and after he's charged up for a few turns, they surrender, assuming some big AoE, AOE will wipe them out. You've never actually seen him do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks down at the guy at her feet. Huh. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? And then it, just walks away. <laughs> it begins to occur to you that it's entirely possible that it might just be a bluff. <laughs> just constantly charging, hoping that they surrender. Pretty much, yeah. Oh my god. He was never gonna do anything. He was just gonna charge for the whole fight. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, I'm. Actually, I'm dead ass serious. He was never gonna do anything. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it was entirely a bluff. Yeah. We were and we were putting a lot of resources into that. Too. <laughs> yes, exactly. I almost split this man's skull open because of a bluff. <laughs> I just used the remaining of all my stuff just now. <laughs> I'm completely out. All right. What well, that worked. Yes, but we took everyone else down before him. Yeah, we did. We thought he was a BBEG. You've done it. it. 
You are the greatest Space Rangers. We are out of time, so we'll have to celebrate your victory next session. But congratulations.